Today on News Channel 12, the coronavirus is impacting more than just physical health. What you can do to keep up with your mental health. And we know all about the run on toilet paper. Learn more about an unexpected quarantine buy coming up. I have the latest on the warmer temperatures and the rain chances that we are expecting ahead. You're watching News Channel 12, where commitment makes the difference. Thanks for tuning in to News Channel 12. I'm Elegant Shimwell, anchoring from Owensboro. And I'm Haley Shungart, anchoring from Bowling Green. Once again, our team is reporting at home across the region because of COVID-19. According to the World Health Organization, COVID-19 cases have topped 1.8 million worldwide. Reporter Ashton Jones spoke with a former Elizabethtown resident who is experiencing this pandemic from across the pond. But, um, it's a really nice place to live. Like People are nice. Um, they're understanding. I think that's a big thing that I like about Spain. Blake is living in Madrid, where he teaches English to young students. The Kentuckian has been there a year and he's had to experience all the effects of COVID-19 away from home. Of course, the thought crossed my mind was like, whoa, if this is, you know, a crisis, I should go back home to my home country, you know, um, and be with my family, that type of stuff. But he feels he has to stay for another reason. I was no longer insured um, in the U.S., period. The United States Health and Human Services website is a good way to explore which kinds of programs and services are available to you. But for Blake, who would be off his parents' insurance and without a job, he would have few options. Even if you are not insured here, you're expected to pay way less than in the U.S. Blake says he's safer in Spain than at home, with Spain's numbers showing it's reaching the other side of the curve. It's progress the people celebrate every night. Uh, everyone gathers on their balconies on the street and they clap for the essential workers and just applaud all of the work that they've been doing um, around the clock to help people. I think in the long run, it was good that I decided to stay. Blake says he plans to reapply to teach again for the next school year. Reporting for News Channel 12, I'm Ashton Jones. Back in Kentucky, the Commonwealth is partnering with Kroger to provide free drive through testing for COVID-19. Testing started on Monday in Frankfurt. Kroger will test up to 20,000 people across Kentucky over the next five weeks. That's double the state's current testing capacity. The drive through testing is limited to healthcare workers, first responders, people aged 65 and older, and people with chronic health conditions. In order to receive a test, you must apply through a digital registration portal hosted by Kroger. COVID-19 is also affecting mental health. Actress Taraji Henson has something to offer African Americans who have been hit hard by the coronavirus crisis. Henson took to Instagram on Wednesday to announce the launch of the COVID-19 free virtual therapy campaign. It's the Herboris Lawrence Henson Foundation, which makes mental health a priority. Henson encourages anyone struggling to make an appointment for a free teletherapy session with a licensed clinician. If you've ever second guessed or had some reservations or were afraid to uh, reach out or deal with uh, mental illness or check on your mental health, now is the perfect time because we are in a situation where we can do it from home, the comforts of our own home. Um, you can research, you can take your time because all we have right now is time. And I suggest that in this time, you dig deep down within yourself and just take care of your mental. Let this be the time where you try it out. Registration is already underway, and if you're interested, go to the online resource guide at forestlfoundation.org. Turning now to weather, we've had quite a change this past week. From temperatures in the upper 70s last week to a bit of snowfall in Bowling Green on Tuesday, Noah Moore is here with a look at what you can expect this weekend. Our weather today is expected to be a little bit warmer compared to what we've experienced throughout the week. Yesterday we had a temperature at 58 degrees with a low of 43, but our normal time temperature this time of year should be around 70 degrees, but that is expected to go up as we progress into the springtime season. On to our weather headlines. So it's going to be warm and windy today with just a few higher wind gusts. Some may range to be 35 to even 40 miles an hour, so be aware about that. 
We are expecting to have milder, warmer temperatures throughout the week. And don't forget about those umbrellas, folks, because we still do have a few rain chances in our seven day. Thanks, Noah. One thing we can usually look forward to this time of the year is the fresh spring and summer produce. Jillian Ryan spoke with a farmer about how he's succeeding in spite of COVID-19. Normally, this farmer's market behind me would be filled with vendors, music, food trucks, and people shopping. However, since the spread of COVID-19, things at this market have seen major changes. Farmers are still an essential worker and still have to make money. Most of the vendors here would normally supply to local restaurants and stores, which now had a forced close due to the coronavirus, resulting in farmers taking a hit on money. I talked to a farmer here at the Douglas Loop Farmers Market that has a new way of delivering produce so their family farm does not lose any money. We built that site in two days and went live with online sales and just sent it out through email and social media and got a lot of people interested who are our regular customers anyway. It meant that we actually increased our sales by 50 to 75% above a normal farmer's market. Ordering online is also helping to prevent the spread of coronavirus even more. When you pull up to the market, the vendors will come, see your car, and put the groceries in your trunk for you. In Louisville, News Channel 12, I'm Jillian Ryan. Bar says will continue to do online ordering with drive through pickup until the market closes for good. While some industries are struggling, others are taking off. Katie Dark has a look at what unexpected products are ticking up in sales. First it was toilet paper, then hand sanitizer, and Fenomen products. But recently, a new product has been hard to keep in stock. According to Walmart CEO Doug McMillan, he is saying that the latest pandemic buy is hair dye and clippers. And with salons currently closed because of COVID-19, McMillan is saying that many people are needing haircuts and coloring services. And according to the Nielsen research firm, statistics are showing a boost in sales. Hair clippers are increasing more than 160% and hair coloring products with a 23% increase. And cosmetologists are suggesting people to take an alternative when it comes to taking care of their hair. I know for me, I love styling my own hair and learning different things. I also love to style other people's hair. So if you can focus on that and learn like how to curl your hair, how to straighten it, learn how to French braid, like that would be really helpful for your hair. If choosing to cut and color your own hair at home, there are tips for that as well. Brad Mondo has a video of, he recently put out that it's like how to cut your own hair. Um, and that's a really good video. Um, also, Kaylee Melissa has a lot of videos on like styling hair and so does Harmonized Beauty. As of April 13th, Tennessee Governor Bill Lee announced that non-essential businesses will open on May 1st. For News Channel 12, I'm Katie Dark. Back in Kentucky, Governor Andy Beshear hasn't announced a target date for when non-essential businesses will open back up. After the break, we've got an update on the Kentucky church that refused to follow Governor Bashir's orders to not gather and what you need to do to check your IRS stimulus check. When I was your age, I was just like you, fascinated by stars. <sighs> but now I get to search for life in the universe. And who knows, maybe life is looking for us too. So we're like aliens to them? Yeah. Does anyone want to be a scientist now? I do. Awesome. We need more girls in STEM. Maybe we can find aliens. Honorary Forest Ranger Betty White here, lending a hand to my dear friend Smokey Bear. Because for 75 years, he's only said, Only you can prevent wildfires. But there's a lot more to say. Like, if you park your car on tall, dry grass, the hot exhaust pipe can start a wildfire. So keep the animals safe, especially the cute shirtless one. Go to SmokeyBear.com to learn more about wildfire prevention. Roll over. Chance high five. All right. When you adopt a shelter pet, you discover all the things that make them unique. And your mother and... Her. I am totally a hot person. Right, guys? Thanks for being honest. They're a little bit of a lot of things, but they're all pure love. 
Adopt pure love at the shelterpetproject.org. Here's to the things that can keep us safe. Those we use all the time with hardly a thought. Those that are silently standing by to save our lives. And now, those that we carry with us everywhere we go. Many mobile devices will now bring you wireless emergency alerts, real-time information directly from local sources you know and trust. With the unique sound and vibration, you'll be in the know wherever you are. Here's an update on a story we brought to you last week. A showdown between church and state with the coronavirus and the Constitution at the center of it all. There are limits on those rights. Even in times of this pandemic, you don't lose your constitutional rights. At issue, Governor Andy Bashir's executive orders not to gather in groups. That's something about 50 people chose to defy Easter Sunday by attending service in person. Troopers warned of quarantine and criminal charges. They actually target individuals because the name on the outside of the building as a church rather than a Home Depot, Walmart, Kmart, or Kroger is unconstitutional. The church, through the Liberty Council, now plans to file a federal lawsuit. But constitutional attorney Mitchell Denham believes the law may be on Bashir's side. He explained KRS Chapter 39A gives Bashir the authority to disperse crowds during a state of emergency, like a pandemic. He says Bashir knew how to craft the order and keep it legal by making it broad to any gathering, not specific to a religious institution. And that chapter gives him very broad authority to limit gatherings of this nature across the board. The Liberty Council doesn't agree, saying it was Bashir's intent to focus on churches. And he's not executed that against any other commercial operation. It's only against churches. That's what he wanted. That's what he did. That's unconstitutional. Denham refutes the argument that the Constitution was violated because, he says, the law is also there to protect people's lives. You cannot place people in harm by exercising your religion. The church said they did do social distancing inside and offered hand sanitizer and didn't even allow people to sit closely in the pews. In economic news, there's a way to track when this stimulus check will hit your bank account. The IRS created an online tool called Get My Payment that can be used to check on the status of your money. It launched Wednesday and is available on the IRS website. You'll need to enter your social security number, date of birth, and mailing address in order to track your payment. The first payments will go to those who've already filed their 2018 or 2019 tax returns and authorized the IRS to make a direct deposit if they were due for a refund. Within that group, the agency is starting with those who have the lowest incomes. Social Security recipients will also automatically receive their payments, even if they haven't filed a return. And as a reminder, the deadline to file and pay federal taxes has been extended this year from April 15th to July 15th. After the break, Noah Moore is back with what you can expect rain this weekend and just how high you can expect the temperatures to climb next week. It's a short ride from your neighborhood to your naturehood. To find a neighborhood park or green space near you, visit discovertheforest.org. Touchdown! Oh, wow. Did you see that? Whoa, 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 we scored? Yeah, we scored going to the playoffs. I can't believe I missed that. Every time I'm buzzed, I spend too much time on my phone. What? I should take your phone away. No, 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 I'll call for a ride. Hey, why does my face look like that? <laughs> I'm, I'm playing with these new face filters. Okay, you know what? what? Yep, that's mine. I'm gonna need that back. No. Nope. Kevin! One in three adults has pre-diabetes. That means it could be you, your favorite brother, your other brother, yes. you, your football buddy, your football buddy, you. 
your plumber. Breathe right into your foot. Your plumber's masseuse. Yes. You, your dog walker, your cat jogger. With early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Because of you, I felt hopeless. I know it was a joke, but it still hurt me. Because of you, I felt wanted and not alone in this world. Because you said hi to me on the first day of school, I felt included and I knew that I was going to be okay. Temperatures today are going to be a little bit warmer compared to what we've been experiencing throughout the week. Yesterday we had a high temperature at 58 degrees with a low of 43, but our normal time average around this time of year should be in and around the lower 70s, but that's expected to increase as we go into the spring season. Onto our weather headlines today is going to be warm, it's going to be windy, and I emphasize the windy portion today here, folks, because we are expected to see winds gusting at or about 35 to 45 miles an hour. So that is just enough wind to knock a few things over and make driving just a little bit difficult. So be cautious and mindful about that. We are expected to have warmer temperatures increasing this week. And don't forget about those umbrellas here, folks, because we are expected to have a few rain chances throughout the week. Thanks, Noah. Something a lot more people are doing with this weather and quarantine is running outside. Gabrielle Krumpelman spoke with a familiar face in the Bowling Green running community about how his local business is adapting. Last fall, we brought you the story of Patrick Folker, a local restaurant owner and an experienced runner training for the Bowling Green Marathon. I've done six marathons, two ultra marathons, and one Ironman. Make that eight marathons after running the BG Marathon in November and the St. Jude Memphis Marathon in December. However, now months later, he's finding himself competing with some new unexpected events. Folker and his wife own Bike Rack Bistro, a local dine-in restaurant in Bowling Green. After Governor Andy Bashir responded to COVID-19 by closing dine-in services, Folker says adapting has been an interesting journey. That was the hardest thing, was to change that drastic that quickly. Like many others, his restaurant is now only serving meals to go. The menus now outside and online. Orders now coming over the phone, and service coming through a makeshift drive through window on the side of the building. Social media really has a big part of getting the word out, uh, especially that first week. You know, I guess it was like the second week of March or something like that when it really got serious. Um, the community really pulled together. He says they are very fortunate to be able to continue functioning and that they're in pretty good shape thanks to customers who continue to support. We're humbled and blessed by, by the community that we live in, for sure. For News Channel 12, I'm Gabrielle Crumpleman. After the break, Lauren Flood is here with an update on This Week in Sports, including news on The Hilltopper Making National News. Yo, who's Scott? Hey. I'm heading out, man. You want to ride? No, I got my car, but I actually really need to go to the bathroom. Oh, you know what? I was just in there. The line is like 10 people long. You know, I think I'll just... Dude, are you okay? You wouldn't believe what I was just thinking. I, I am definitely buzzed. Yeah. I think I will take this and I will take that ride home. Smart man. Did you see how that dog was looking at me? It takes less than one minute to find out if you may have prediabetes. You can do it here. But you probably won't. You're busy. Kids, work, show coming back in 48 seconds. So let's do this now. Hold up one finger if you're a man. Women, zero. Three more fingers if you're over 60. Two over 50. One over 40. If you're not sure, keep in mind you're sitting on a couch right now. So one more finger if you're not very active. One finger if yes, zero if no. One yes, zero no. Next, find the body type that looks most like you and hold up that many fingers while I look around awkwardly. And that's it. If you're holding up five fingers or more, you probably have prediabetes. Sorry to be so blunt, but hey, you're busy. Just go to the site.
perhaps one of the best Cinderella stories of all times goes to the number 16 seed WKU's Big Red. Sirius XM College Sports has hosted a Best Mascot in America poll on their Twitter for the past two weeks. After coming in as an underdog ranked number 16 in the South, WKU's Big Red managed to beat Ole Miss, LSU, Auburn, Tennessee, and Oklahoma to make their way to the finals. After a week-long bout against Brigham Young's Cosmo Cougar, the final poll ended this morning at 11. You can catch the final results today on Extra Point. Back on the Hill, WKU redshirt senior D. Givens is Conference USA Spirit of Service winner. The honor recognizes one athlete at each conference school per playing season. This award honors student athletes who are involved in community service, display academic excellence, and have noteworthy athletic accomplishments. As a Hilltopper, Givens earned Conference USA first team honors, leading the conference with a single season record in steals. While playing for WKU, she graduated with her bachelor's and master's degree in recreation and sports administration. She also volunteered for organizations such as Feeding America, the Warren County Humane Society, Stuff the Bus, and Recreational Wheelchair Basketball. Across the pond, cycling's most famous race, the Tour de France, is postponed. Instead of August 29th, the race will take place on September 20th because of COVID-19. That means the race will not take place in its traditional June-July slot for the first time since the end of the Second World War. French President Emmanuel Macron said Monday that no large-scale public event would take place in the country until mid-July as part of measures to contain the outbreak. And back at WKU, the Extra Point has been running a Twitter poll all week on 1v1 basketball matchups. You can find out the results today on the Extra Point at 3.30. In the meantime, follow our sports coverage on Twitter at the Extra Point WKU. Last week, we brought you the story of a dog visiting a nursing home. After the break, we've got the story of another furry friend who you might not expect. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Give kisses. Give kisses. You heard how loud I know, I heard. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the... Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Wait a second. Do you know who I am? Julia. Hi. I just wanted to talk to you about what happened with those two girls in eighth grade. Oh, yeah? That one day at PE when they were, like, yelling at me, and then you just linked arms with me. I don't think you know how much, like, that helped me, because, like, I finally, like, knew that I had somebody. I'll never forget the day our landlord called and said, read your lease. No pets allowed. My owner tells him my dog ate the lease, but that didn't work. And now I'm stuck in a shelter, but this pit bull is ready for a new crib. I'm loving, loyal, and play well with others. So don't be intimidated by all my muscles, because the biggest one I have is my heart. <laughs> That's right, I said it. Leaving hot coals improperly extinguished can cause a wildfire. Hey guys, it's Smokey! It looks as if Smokey is going to use the drown, stir, drown, and feel technique. After the first drown, a good start. Next, another drink. Next and finally, a close feel. Is it cool? cool? Okay. Yeah. Hey, Smokey, catch! Oh, my bad, Smokey. Only you can prevent wildfires. is having a huge impact on health centers across the country, with many patients going without their usual visits from family members. Three horses showed up at the Creekside Village Nursing Home in Indiana Monday. The horses went from window to window greeting residents. Wes Jackson is the head horse handler. He says he's been traveling the state visiting facilities to lift people's spirits. The relationship with the horses is so cool. They know, they sense when that resident connects and they'll settle down and they'll lean into the window. 
The facility says while physical health is important, the mental health of their residents requires the same attention. Thanks for tuning in to News Channel 12. We'll be back next week with another update. Have a safe weekend.